Hey everybody, Dustin Dale's back here once again. Tonight, CenturyLink Center Omaha, WWE's coming back into town. It's been a couple years since they've been here, and I don't know about you, I always get excited every time Raw comes through town. So I'm very excited. My guest at this time is a former WWE Divas champion. Please welcome Natalia. Thank you so much for having me. Now, how was, it, how was your trip in Omaha? Oh, well, we've had a media morning, so we've had a lot to uh, experience and take in in Omaha. Um, but, you know, Raw is WWE's biggest show. So um, you have SmackDown, you have, you know, obviously you can go to the WWE Network for just about anything, but anything and everything can happen because tonight it's live. So live television is extremely exciting, and it's just the overall environment, especially being a superstar in the WWE, the fun factor is really the spontaneity and, and that anything and everything can happen. And so another thing uh, people can do on the WWE Network is they can relive your Divas Championship yes. reign. How many times are you guilty of going back and watching that? Oh, I mean, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like watching myself that much because I'm like, oh, why did you wear that? Or your hair is, uh, you know. Uh, you know us girls, we're very picky, but the network is awesome because it really is, it's, it just, it gives you a window into a world that you can, you can have access to anything. You can have access to the Bulldogs versus the Hart Foundation. We have all this amazing old footage that is really timeless, but then you also have all this new content like, um, you know, the Renee Young has her show Unfiltered and there's Swerve where all of us get pranked or we pull pranks on each other. Um, there's, you know, tons of different shows that are original content to WWE so it's really cool it's a whole window to this world that people didn't knew didn't know existed in WWE so it's very cool now you right now you're you're kind of going up against Charlotte she, yeah. she's the women's champ a newly yeah. crowned women's champion they changed that back yep. to women's I'm excited for that I think yeah. that's cool but uh, you're you're going back and forth with her now she how, and I have a run? very tumultuous rivalry right now and I I respect Charlotte very much because she's an incredible athlete um, but the fact that she has to involve her dad and has her dad fight her battles for her, it's just kind of like I want her to woman up and basically own it. And if you have to throw your dad in front of you because you can't handle the heat, then it's time for you to get out of the fire and maybe get out of the kitchen. <laughs> and last month, though, you had some backup in your corner. I did. I had, um, gosh, that was one of the most awesome moments in my WWE career to have my uncle Bret Hart with me at Payback. And, um, you know, it just, like I said, with WWE, especially our live shows, um, it's just, there's so much that can happen. Anything and everything can happen. And tonight in Omaha, it'll be no different. Raw will be off the hook. You never know who's going to walk down that ramp. Mm -hmm. You don't know if, you know, right now there's the tension brewing between Shane McMahon and Stephanie McMahon and the little rivalry, I mean, big rivalry that they have in trying to run Monday Night Raw because Vince McMahon basically gave them both power. Um, it's... It's interesting to watch that unfold, and of course, you know, everybody's excited for when John Cena comes back. Um, you know, we're, after WrestleMania, it's like the year restart, mm -hmm. so it's just like a brand new year for us. So it's, it's very, very cool. And plus, we're coming off of the biggest WrestleMania in the history of WWE. So mm -hmm. how are we going to top last year's? Exactly. Do you, are you, do you, have they told you what you're going to be doing tonight? Are you going to be mixing up with Charlotte a little bit or anything? Do you well, know I really hope Ric Flair stays out of my business. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, after last week's Raw, when I had to put him in the sharpshooter and put on <laughs> his Hall of Fame ring and Rolex watch, I think he learned a lesson. So we shall see. But Charlotte knows to stay far, far away from me if she wants to be a brat. Oh, I would say so. <laughs> I think you definitely taught him a lesson too last week. Now, one thing that I learned from the WWE Network, you're a big fan. Of, you got you got some cats at home. Yes. And uh, now, do do they travel on the road with you at all? No, no. My cats are very spoiled. They stay at home. They've got an entourage of people that fix them their dinners, <laughs> their breakfast, lunch. You know, they have people that brush their fur. They drink Evian water. They eat their tuna juice out of a Tiffany's crystal goblet. Um, my one cat has. I just made all that up, by the way. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sort of, kind of, not really. Um, but my one cat, Tupaz, has an Instagram account. You can follow him. It's two is in the number and then P-A-W-Z. Nice. So if you're interested in being in the know or in the meow with what's going on, go follow my cat because he's basically the best thing that happened to social media. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Definitely check that out. And as you can see behind us, they're getting set up. The ring is getting built. Some stuff's going to go down tonight. You don't want to miss it. It is WWE Raw live at the CenturyLink Center right here in Omaha. You don't want to miss it. One, give, give people at home one word as to come out here and check it out. Give, tell them something. To... Ooh, electrifying. And I stole that Ooh. from The Rock. 
Ooh, electrifying. <laughs> I like it. Check it out. It's Natalia. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Thank for a you couple so minutes. much. Thank you. Make sure you check out Raw tonight and follow her on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. You don't want to miss any of that. And follow her cats.